Good morning. Welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I hope you're having a great day today and I wanted to share something with you that you may know and you may not know. I didn't know this, but Melissa, my sweet friend who works at the office for Miss Annie and me, celebrates any occasion that she can. If I go and she may be celebrating Paris and she has cookies with the Eiffel Tower and things like that. She may, <clears throat> she tells us there's a day coming up for, um, that's called Polka Dot Day. I can't wait to see what she does on that day. But she let me know that today is National Hot Dog Day. Well, I looked it up and sure enough it is. Now let me tell you by me doing that, what I learned. The German immigrants that came to New York brought with them their hot dog, but it was called a Datsun sausage because of its length, and it reminded them of their Winnie dogs, their Datsuns, like our scout that we have. I thought that was a, a good bit of history that I didn't know, but now that article couldn't tell me when they first started National Hot Dog Day. But I think it's great, and I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you how I make my hot dog sauce. Now, normally, I would not make it in a big container if I was just going to do enough for Harold and me. But people around here love this hot dog sauce. Many years ago, a sweet friend of mine, Mel Abrams, worked in our concession stand at school. Her son, Shamar, played for Vincent High School, where my husband coached. And he later went on to play at UAB in Birmingham. But Mel would make this hot dog sauce. And I think that that's the main reason people were buying hot dogs in the concession stand. It's so much better than just mustard or ketchup or whatever. But I'm going to make it in this because <clears throat> I want to have enough that I'm going to share with some of my special friends. And uh, it's just so good. So maybe... You can see how I do it, and then you could tweak the recipe for just a small amount. But I'm going to start off with four cans of sauerkraut, and I have drained them. Um, I'm sure there's still a little liquid in it, but I just used my little spatula and drained, you know, as much out as I could. I don't see any liquid coming out of that one, so I did pretty good. If you were only doing this for, you know, your family, one can would be sufficient and you could cook it on top of the stove. And you really just want it heated really good. All right, there's two. Three. Get it started and four. All right. Look at there. There's a, a big piece of cabbage in there. I'm just going to get that one out. I won't hurt anything. But anyway, <clears throat> to that, I'm going to add a 38 ounce bottle of ketchup. And the reason I'm going to add this whole bottle is because I, I use the four cans of kraut. So, if you were making your own with just one can, you'll see the consistency that this is going to be with this 38 ounce uh, bottle of ketchup. Alright. Now, with the mustard, I'm going to shoot for about a fourth of a cup to start with. So... Okay, the next thing that I'm going to add is 
about a fourth of a cup of minced onion. I started out, when I first started making this, I used real onion. But you know, a lot of people don't like onion onion. But the minced onion, um, they don't seem to mind because it's more of a seasoning. But I'm going to put that in there. Now this is what makes this hot dog sauce. Brown sugar. And I know some of you are going to say, Ooh, that's too much sugar. Remember, you're not eating the whole thing. You're just going to eat a couple of tablespoons on your hot dog. But I'm, there's one cup. There's two cups. I may add more. And the last thing is Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to no, know just a couple of tablespoons. Now, I'm going to stir this. And I can tell by looking if I need to add anything else by the way this looks. Matter of fact, the color of it is going to tell me if I need to add more brown sugar. I haven't found anybody that eats hot dogs that really doesn't like this. I'm going to have to add some more brown sugar. See, it's It's not dark enough, so I'm going to add one more cup. So that's three cups. Again, you're going to tell me that's too much sugar. You're only getting a little of it. But with that sauerkraut, and they call it sauerkraut for a reason, and this brown sugar together, this looks perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my crock pot on and I'm just, you know, if I wanted to leave the house or whatever for a while, I'd put it on low. But I'm going to put this on high. And then I'll come back and I will show you what it looks like after it has cooked and gotten really hot but just know that um if you try this i believe you're gonna like it but anyway i will be back after several hours and uh i'll show you what it's like okay the hot dog sauce cooked for about five hours four and a half to five hours in the crock pot now, I went ahead before I started videoing and started putting it in pint jars. And I saved some out for my hot dog. But this crock pot recipe that I did made six pints plus a bowl that I kept out for our hot dogs. Now, I've already given two of them away, and I've already got these that I have promised to someone else. So, if you wanted to make a big batch, like if you were having a, a barbecue or something and you wanted to make it, just know that it's going to make um, six pints. You saw how much was in that crock pot. But, it's very very good and it's got that sweet and sour taste that i hope you'll like and i'm glad that melissa told me it's national hot dog day because that gave me a reason to make the hot dog sauce for our hot dogs today i hope that you um will remember to share my page and we're also on youtube if you um can get YouTube, it's the same video, 
but if you can see it on your TV, it makes it bigger and it might be easier for you to see. But this recipe is in Volume 1 Cookbook in case you um, want to write it down. But the recipe is on my MamaSueSouthernKitchen.com. Y'all remember that Jesus loves you and He wants us to be salt and light. Tell others about Jesus. Let them know that without Him we're nothing. And He's with us every step of the way when we put our trust in Him. I'll be back soon.